When you're planting corn this spring, how many things are you actually going to put in furrow? On our farm, we may put 30 different components in furrow. 30! That's a lot! Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully one of them seed, Brian. <laughs> well, we we're, be happy. we're going to talk about some of these things that we're putting in furrow and some things you may consider on your farm. All right, it does change though when we're talking about early season and really cold versus well, warm. Well, it changes a little bit. The, the in furrow fungicide, that's where we've seen much better returns when it's cold versus when it's warm. So for us, we're going to plant when that soil temp is 40 to 50 degrees. Fungicide is probably going to pay. If you're planting and the soil temp is 60, I, I don't feel like you're, you've got the same benefit. At least we haven't found that in our testing. We haven't seen that here. Now that might not be the same in all right. parts of the right. country. You may have a lot of disease in, right. in your area and you still get really good gains even in really warm temperatures. But for our farm, that's the one component that we'll take out of this equation. If we don't get to plant till May 15th or something and it's terrible, we're a month behind, well, we won't put the fungicide in anymore because we know that seed's gonna jump right out of the ground. Darren just said the words that make me cringe. Seed's going to jump right out of the ground. It's very common for people to believe that there's no additional benefit from a fungicide or a fungicidal seed treatment when that crop pops right out of the ground. That is absolutely not true. You got to understand with a lot of the products we're talking about here, they're either systemic or they are going to have at least some activity still in the soil for quite some time. So I don't worry so much about is it going to pop out of the ground or not. All I really care about is am I getting a return on my investment? And from our studies, we haven't found that fungicide has been paying when the ground is real warm. What has been paying though, whether the ground's warm or cold, has been in furrow fertilizer. However, what I would say is we got to make sure that we're very careful about in furrow fertilizer. It's common to overdo this. And if you don't think you're overdoing it, yet you're using five or 10 gallons of 1034 in furrow, just please do me a favor while you're planting just shut off that pop-up fertilizer for just a few spots. Mark those spots, go back and do stand counts for treated versus untreated. If you're losing stand, you're putting too much fertilizer on. That's our concern. So we want you to use a low salt fertilizer at a low rate and put it with water. That will help safe in it quite a bit. But when you do use at least a little bit of pop-up fertilizer, we are finding that the seed comes out of the ground a little faster, it's more healthy, and we're getting a little bit faster dry down in the fall, usually one to two points drier in the fall. Another thing we like to see in furrow is some sort of insecticide, whether it's a dry or a liquid. And I wanna talk about this because sometimes people say, well, I'm using a smart stacks trait and I'm putting insecticide in furrow and I'm still gaining yield. Is my rootworm pressure that heavy? Not necessarily. There are a lot of secondary insects out there that insecticides will do an excellent job on and that smart stacks corn, other than a little bit of seed treatment, really isn't giving you a whole lot of protection against. The final thing I wanted to talk about is the biological component, or as I like to call them, natural products. Things that already exist in our environment and we're taking them from some other place and now we're putting them in furrow in corn. So you might have said, how are you getting to 30 different things that you're putting in furrow? Well, if fungicide is one, or let's even say that I use a combination fungicide, so I've got two different fungicides in furrow, I use an insecticide in furrow, uh, and then let's say I use a couple different or maybe three different fertilizers in furrow, okay, I'm up to five or six things. Where are the other 25? They're probably biologicals. So there's one product we've used the last three years in testing, it's been real good, it's called NutriCycle. Uh, that's gonna have over 20 different biologicals. Uh, one of the things too with some of the new biologicals that we're experimenting with, we're putting a little bit of sugar in furrow as well. I don't know that the sugar is actually going to gain us anything in yield. Some people talk about sugar by itself helping your yield. What we're doing with that sugar is it's there to help feed those microbes. So this year, especially if you're planting early, consider putting a few extra things in close proximity to the seed, like fungicide especially, but also putting a low rate of a safer fertilizer out there, some insecticide, and consider some of these biologicals as well to help improve your stand and improve your yield. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do these things either. Just a few dollars per acre, give it a shot on your farm, at least run some trials. One thing you do need to have on every acre of your farm is excellent weed control. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up next.